Hi everybody, I'm back for um, the promised video that I would show what I have in my pencil pouch. Um, in previous months, I've used the Coco Daisy bags or the pouches or a few other things, and I wanted to get into back into a pencil case or a pencil pouch, whatever you want to call it, that I had used, um, gosh, probably back in 20... 15 when I was uh, studying Japanese. Uh, my Nihongo. Um, you might hear some stuff, some noise in the background, the husband's doing something, so just kind of ignore that. Um, so here we are. So the first thing is there's this pocket here on the front, and the first thing I have in it is just a clear ruler. This is the ruler that came with the Muji set, the pencil case and the pen, the pencil, the eraser, and all of that. So I always have some sort of a flat edge with marks. Now we get into the... So you can see I have a lot of stuff in here. So let's take these out first so we can make room for the others. These are my Porter's pieces, stencils. Like this is the Erin Condren one, the bills, the bullet journal, the alphabets, the weather, the back to school, the um, task marking, and then I also have my um, four Hobonichi stencils. So I have stencils. Um, I have some Coco Daisy Cloud post-it notes from, was it two months ago? Was it from the April kit? Maybe it's from the April kit. And then I just have some orange post-it brand ones. Let's see what else is in here. I feel something else. I have a little teeny tiny book binder clip. And this is the um, Midori Brass pencil sharpener. It's a wonderful, wonderful pencil sharpener, which is made in Germany of all places. Hmm. Okay, now all that left of the stuff we have in here are pens and, s well, there's a couple of other things in here too. So let's pull all this out. Oop, that came off. Okay, so the first thing I have in here you'll see is earpiece. And these are um, my special ear plugs that I use when performing um, outdoor concerts, um, or I've got like brass players or saxophone, or I'm sitting near um, percussion instruments. So I always have those, a pair of those in my pencil case and one in my flute bag. And your Seamus is here with us too. Now, I didn't realize I had that many pencils in here. Um, okay, so the first thing you'll see is I have one, two, three, four, this is a special pencil, four of the black Ticonderogas, and then this is the Ticonderoga Noir. It's one of my favorite pencils. It's kind of like holographic, and you can see where the pencil wood is. It's black not like this one. So those are actually one of my favorite pencils. You can get them at like Target. I think you might even be able to get them at Walmart. These ones I got at Target of all places. So my Dixon Ticonderoga black and noir pencils. Um, this other pencil I had is a um, there it is. It's a Stabilo, and it's one of the aquarellable, like water pencils, where you can art with it and then smudge it and smear it around with like water. So it kind of works like watercolor. It's a really great pencil. Um, I think Allie Brown uses these a lot, and so does um, Courtney. Um, and I'm sure there are other people that do, but I saw their videos using them, and so I decided to give it a try. Um, here's one of my mini collage glue sticks by Ranger. I bought a, 
pack of 10 from Amazon because it was cheaper than buying just three. So I've got that. Now let's separate the pens and the mechanical pencils because I do have a couple mechanical pencils. Okay, so these kind of go together-ish. Okay, so here are four of my Pilot Color Eno pencils. I've got the dark blue, the green, the purple, and the light blue, but I actually have the whole set. I've got the pink, the red, the yellow, the orange. Um, I was wanting to buy just replacement lead for these two, and the shipping was more than the cost of the, the lead, so I bought the whole set. Um, and so these are the ones that I carry with me and use all the time. I have my Pilot Coletto Lumio in the silver. I have a couple of these, and I have this pen because of our wonderful Carrie Harling. Um, I first saw her use this pen back in maybe 2014, probably is about the time I might have gotten one for myself and one for the, he was the fiance at that time. Um, and I've, I've picked up like a couple of the, a black one, there's a champagne one. I think I bought an extra silver one. And then they all have a slightly different top for how to keep the, the ink in. Um, here's my favorite Muji. This is a 038 Muji um, black pen. My favorite, favorite, favorite pen of all time. Um, these are the Tombow Mono Drawing Pens. They're kind of like, like the, um, Microns and the, um, Sharpies that, that have these tips like that. I'm, yeah, make sure I got the right, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of these pens. I've been using the, um, this is the 01 and the 05. I've been using the 03 in my bullet journal planner insert, and it's okay. Um, I like it because it doesn't smear and it doesn't run with water the, the same way the, the Muji does. But I, I don't think I like using the tip for, that type of a tip for daily planning. I'd rather have a gel ball roller thing like this. Um, I, I love using these for arting. Um, like here's a 05 in the black, or no, in the sepia. And here's a 05 in the, is that the black one or the blue one? That's the black one. I've got all of them in the different colors. Um, but I think my favorite one for arting is the 0.005. That one is great. If you do something in pencil and then want to um, go over it in pen, so that way your like sketch line marks, um, you know, you can clean up. This is a black gel pen from Coco Daisy. This came in a kit maybe February. It says never stop learning. I thought it was cute. Um, these are two pens that I got from Jet Pens in their, um, what was it called? Their um, Gel Ink Blue Black set. This one is a uni style fit, and it's just a single 05 blue black ink. And then this one is a high tech C with a very fine nib. This one's, they say, is a 04, but. I think it's finer than that. But what I love about the the high-tech C's, it's the same ink that you have in the Coletto, except, I mean, look at all that ink. You get so much more ink and the, the pen lasts forever. Um, this is a black gel pen from the um, July Coco Daisy Kit. I think it's July. Yeah, the July one. It's got these gold flakes and stuff in there. So there's that. This is the N95 Tombow dual brush in the N95 gray. And what I do is I put a piece of scotch tape over it because these things scratch up, see, so fast and then you never know which number you need to have replaced. So it has a like a little nib down there and like all of them. It's got a brush here. 
and it's such a light gray color. It's, it's really pretty. And the last thing I have in my pencil pouch is, and I realize I just moved you. Let me stop the shaking. This is the Mono Two-Way. It has the um, whiteout strips, and it has a, oops, let's get it to go out, a wonderful eraser, which I've never pulled out before there. Um, and they're both replaceable, as you can see. You can buy a new eraser end for that, and you can buy a, um, this comes off, so you can buy a new um, insert for that. So that is all of the stuff that I have in my condensed pencil pouch. It still is quite a lot, um, but these are the things that I tend to need on the regular when I'm um, teaching or at rehearsals. That's the main reason for it, not this pencil, but for these pencils is, you know, writing something in my music so I, it can be erased later. Um, so there you go. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Everything here I've gotten either at Jet Pens. This I got from Tombow in one of their surprise kits. It was the um, kit that came um, in January. It was a lousy, lousy, lousy kit, but this cool thing was in it. Um, Amazon and of course, um, Porter Pieces on Etsy. The Hobonichi stencils I got from Hobonichi when I bought a Hobonichi a few years ago. Um, this I got on Amazon in a Muji pack. And of course the Coco Daisy stuff is Coco Daisy. So if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will get back with you as soon as I can. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.